Have you ever wondered what happens when a powerful organization like the Securities and Exchange Commission faces the music for its misconduct? Well, let's dive into a fascinating uh, case, and then finally, that unfolded in the U.S. District Court for the District of Utah. The SEC recently faced a significant setback in their lawsuit against Digital Licensing Incorporated and other defendants. The court passed sanctions against the SEC, uncovering a series of missteps uh, in their handling of the case. This ruling serves as a stern rebuke, uh, highlighting the SEC's misconduct during the proceedings. Um, uh, the legal battle began in July 2023 when the SEC filed a sealed complaint and an ex-party application for a temporary restraining order against Digital Licensing, Inc. And there are others. The court granted the tro freezing assets and appointing a receiver for liquidation. However, when the defendants moved to dissolve the tro, the court granted their motions in September 2023, citing the SEC's failure to demonstrate irreparable harm. As the court's decision turned the tables, imposing sanctions on the SEC for its bad faith conduct, the uh, SEC was ordered to pay attorney's fees, legal costs, uh, and the cost of the court-appointed receiver. Uh, despite the SEC's argument against sanctions, the court found the commission guilty of gross abuse of power marked by repeated misrepresentations and deliberate falsehoods. In the end, the court's ruling sends a clear message that no entity, regardless of its stature, is above the law. With that said, thanks for watching. And until the next time, remember that even a mighty who stumble and they forget the importance of playing by the rules.